All right, so welcome to today's class. This will be a Cadillac session with a bit of standing arm work at the end. It's a short one. So your hands are at mid humps, and we'll warm up the spine like we usually do. Breathe in, and as you exhale, drop your chin, scoop and tuck, and roll it back. Each vertebra goes down in a long, steady sequence. Breathe here as you exhale, press straight down, and float the arms up. Again, press. And a couple of more. Last time, head comes up, scoop tight, and let the springs in your abs pull you up, up, and over the legs, and give it a nice stretch here. You want to inflex your feet. Just feel that length in the legs, spine, and arms. Then turn out again. You can soften the knees and take it down, curving the spine back down. Down you go all the way to your head. This time pull in like you're rowing a boat and extend and scoop tight as you pull. Check for neutral spine and feel the arm muscles working behind the shoulders too. We'll do one more. Extend the arms out, the head comes up, scoop tight and let the springs and the abs pull you up. We'll take it out over the legs again and breathe. Get a good stretch. You can flex your feet if you like. We'll take that down one more time. Shoulders down and back, scoop it. Take it all the way down to your head and roll the shoulders around and breathe into it. Opening up through the sides of your neck and the tops of your shoulders, then reverse that. Around you go. And then arms out, head comes up. Scoop tight and let's take you up, 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 and come forward. I'd like to do a few rows. So press down towards your shins, pull in towards your chest, and then ride it up in a rowing mo motion. And then pull in toward the chest, up. You go with the arms, keep scooping, and row. Shoulders are pretty fixed here. You get a little mobility as you come up and feel your arm muscles, feel your abs. One more this way. And let's reverse that, hinge back, pull in toward the chest, scoop tight as you press the bar down toward the feet. And again, pull in, get your row down toward the feet. And shoulders are down and back. And then get your shoulders into it as you roll it back and push it forward. One more. Breathing and exhaling. And release the bar for a moment. And reach out and touch either the front of your caddy pads or the vertical tubes. Let's breathe into that. Feeling your spine open up, especially around the lumbar. If you soften your knees out to the sides like you're doing, of course, you're going to Open up through the hips a little. Good breathing. One more nice deep inhale and exhale. And then come up to seated. Drop the legs over the sides. I want to open up your inner thighs while we're here. And walk it down. So you're breathing. Feeling the hips go into a, a lateral external rotation and your inner thighs starting to open up. You're breathing. One more nice deep inhale and exhale here. And then start to walk it up to a seated position. The feet come back up and then touch the vertical tubes. Grasp uh, the middle of the bar with your left hand. Let's have a little rotation to this. So you'll drop back and let's pull right back up. Change sides and drop back now to the back of the shoulder and then pull back up again. Let's drop back to your shoulder again, breathing. And this time, fully rotate to the other side, wrap the arm around the waist. Derotate, take it back down, give it a stretch here, and then pull back up, flat back. You'll 
um, wrap around the waist. I want to do one more here and I want you to hold at the back of the shoulder and add some little pulses here. They're real slow little movements. Try not to bounce the spring and you're breathing and exhaling, kind of beating up on that right oblique and then up you go and do a wrap with the arm. This time we'll take it down all the way into a banana and cross the ankles or move that leg close to the other one and breathe into this. Inhaling and exhaling. And then let's separate the feet, correct your torso, and pull yourself back up again. And do the other side. Let's drop back. We need to add those little pulses here, okay? Up, up, scooping tight. It's the little tiny lifts with your obliques. A couple more. And then take this back up. Do a wrap around the waist. And then take it down into a banana this time. And stretch, open up your left side and cross the um, top ankle or the left ankle on the top and breathe. Getting that strong opening on your left side. One more nice deep inhale and exhale. And then separate the feet, correct the torso, and pull yourself back up. Up you go to the top. Good, let's realign. So hold uh, mid humps again, and drop down about halfway. I'd like to do some, a few little pulses here. Tiny, you're using pelvic floor and low abs. You're looking at your feet. Your neck is completely relaxed. And we're just adding a few little crunches here. Couple more. And then all the way down to your head. Breathe here, press your bar down towards your left. Arch your spine up toward the ceiling. Usually we wanna stay in neutral, but I wanna open it up a little. And you're breathing. It's really open to the ceiling. And then come to neutral, bend both knees at 45 degrees, feet together. Float your head up, scoop tight, and let's take you all the way up to seated. Release your bar again, <coughs> grasp behind your thighs and just give yourself a good pull here. Chest toward the thighs. Let's come up to seated and change your arcus bar out for your trapeze bar. with a few bridges here and low abs. Okay, so you shoved your, yourself away from the end of the mat a bit. Yeah. And the knees start over your hips. You're in neutral spine. Breathe in. As you exhale, here we go when you get settled there. Down, down with the feet. Feeling the low abs and pelvic floor instigate this. this, is what it feels like. And good. And then float the knees back up when you're down there. Okay, do it again. Breathe in as you exhale, slow, steady, and easy. Legs are really dead weight. Find neutral spine. If you've tucked a little, make sure that there's a tiny space under the lumbar that's natural. And float the knees back up. <clears throat> And we'll do that one more time. Down, down. And when your feet are on the mat, I want you to do some tiny crunches down here. It's as if you're using your low abs and your pelvic floor. Lift a couple of centimeters and then back down. And good. Go for a couple more here. And then hold. Your feet are planted, scoop and tuck and lift into a shoulder bridge. So the hips come up, press into your arms. Your neck is really long and relaxed here. 
Breathe in and as you exhale, let's slowly take this down, feeling glutes and upper legs contract and your abs are scooping to tuck the pelvis to get each vertebra down and then the knees come up. Let's do that again. Scoop tight, pelvic floor, feet come to the mat. And when they're down, you'll breathe in as you exhale, scoop and tuck. And let's take your hips up toward the ceiling and breathe into this. Slowly take it back down again. Scooping, tucking, glutes, upper legs working too, feet are relaxed. Roll through to neutral and the knees come up. Let's add a little fly into that today. If you want to, you can hold the tubes behind you. Breathe in as you exhale, feet go down. Lift into your shoulder bridge. Give that little fly and leap into a shoulder stand ball and then roll down one vertebra at a time. Good, when your sacrum bone hits, use your abs to bring your feet to the mat. When they're down, scoop and tuck and lift into your bridge again. Breathe here as you exhale, fly and leap into a shoulder stand ball, and then take it down again. It's as if your abs are driving your spine down one vertebra at a time. Lock tone through the shoulders and arm muscles here. And then feet come to the mat. Let's reverse that. So breathe in as you exhale, roll up into a shoulder stand ball. Squeeze your glutes, thrust your legs out in front of you. And land in a real slow shoulder bridge. And down. And down. Good, you do that really well and then articulate to the mat. Good, let's do that one more time. Breathe in as you exhale, up into your shoulder stand ball. Squeeze the glutes and thrust the thighs out slowly in front of the hips and land in that slow shoulder bridge. Good, and then articulate down. Float the knees up and grasp the ends of your bar, but I want you to hold on to uh, the bar. Now, shoulders are down and back. Exhale, press straight down towards your, uh, towards your belly button there. Okay? And then I want you to row up towards your chin and then back up toward the ceiling. So shoulders are planted. We're just going to warm up these muscles good for our standing arm work and press down, row it up towards your chin and up. Go for a couple of more. Last time like this. And then let's come to tabletop leg. Breathe in and as you exhale, pull the knees in towards your chest and touch the bar down toward the tops of your knees. Then send the legs out to teaser and the arms go uh, behind you a little. Okay, so sneak a peek at my position. Drop your legs a little. And then we'll pull back in, touch the knees. And then back out to teaser. You're turned out and touch the knees as you pull in. And then control it out. And again, touch and out. Let's go for three, touch, scoop tight, neutral spine the whole time. Two more, and out and last time. Good, let's take a little break for a moment, slide the legs out or pull them in, whatever you need to do. Now we're going to do uh, something kind of lateral with your bar. Okay, so the legs float up to tabletop again. Breathe in and as you exhale, bend your left knee in a little more and extend your right leg out to a diagonal and then press the bar down towards your left knee. So it's at a little angle there. And then feet come together in teaser leg, arms overhead, and then bend your right knee and press toward it. And then back up again and do that on the other side, press 
You should feel a lot of work in your obliques and your arms. Your low abs are dealing with the weight of the legs as you change. And up and exhale again. And see if you can make a little pause down there toward the knee. And really feel your oblique, close your ribs, yeah. And again. Let's do one more each way. Last time. Good, and then release the bar. Stretch your arms out over your head and just breathe into that for a moment. Elongate your entire body. Then hold behind your legs, float your head up, and let's rock up to you, seated. Leave your, uh, your bar connected with one spring. Hook your push through bar with that other uh, yellow spring. So we're just kind of saving ourselves a moment later. Let's do a side bend. We'll do one and then one big twist. Okay, just to sort of warm up through those muscles. So hand in the middle of the bar, the arm goes up, and here we go to the side. And breathe into this. So remember, we're only going to do one of these. So make it a good one. Your sits bones are planted as equally as possible. You're doing your little elbow arches. You can even do both if you wish. You can alternate. That's kind of fun. Couple more. I want you to hold here, see if you can drop just a little lower, breathing. Then use your abs to pull up. And then counter curve, one nice counter curve. Stretch it up toward the ceiling and breathe into this. Let's bring it back to the center. Hand moves to the back of the bar and we'll add the twist. Arm goes up, you'll turn. Hand to the bar, drop your chin. The upper back starts to curve. There goes your mid back. And we're dropping into that lovely side stretch here with the twist. And you're breathing. Your sits bones are planted equally as possible. You can add some soft little bends and pushes with the elbows if that invites the stretch in more deeply for you. You're breathing. Let's do one more nice deep inhale and exhale. Hold. And then scoop tight and start to lift, derotate, and then rotate the other way and look over your shoulder and breathe into this. You've got a long straight axis of your spine, your chin is level, and you're breathing. Let's release that and do the other side, one each way. Hand is in the middle of the bar. Breathe in and lift your left arm or your other arm, and over you go. Making that beautiful, equal curve from the back of your head to your sacrum. And adding elbow arches if you wish, of course. You can alternate, you can do both elbows or just the top one, you decide. Object is, of course, to open up that side. I want you to hold and drop just a little deeper, pushing the bar away, breathing. And then use your abs to pull yourself back up, up, up to seated, and then counter curve. Actively curving in the other direction, breathing into this. And then drop back to center. Hand goes to the back of the bar this time. The other arm goes up as you breathe and then turn. Hand on the bar, drop your chin. And let's take it down. Good. Feeling that stretch, just travel. And breathe at your low point. You can add some little soft elbow bends and straightens if that invites the stretch in more. The object is, is to drop a little lower. 
that pressing the bar out more and breathe in. Breathe in and as you exhale, let's start to come back up to seated. Use your abs. The sit span is planted, the arm comes up and rotate the other direction. Remember your chin is level and you're opening through both pectorals. You're breathing. And then come back to center. Let's face the end of the bar uh, of the tower again. Both hands on the bar. And we'll drop forward this time. Take it down over the legs. Flex your feet if you want to. If you find it necessary, of course, do uh, one leg at a time. We'll do this a couple of times. And you're breathing, stretching the backs of the legs, the spine, and your arms. And then start to come up to seated. You'll hinge back. Arms go up and press the chest forward and shrug the shoulders up. We want to get as long as possible through your spine and arms and breathe. Let's hinge back, chin to chest, and take it down again. Stretch, breathe at the bottom. Flex your feet. If you did one leg before, do the other one. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's start to come up, hinge back. Arms go up again, and shrug the shoulders up toward the ceiling and achieving that diagonal if possible. So you're breathing. Let's drop back to seated. I want you to do one more here. Put your right hand on the bar and go up toward the ceiling and grasp the opposite tube. There you go. So we're in this nice rotation and you're breathing. You can do a couple of elbow arches here if you wish. They're not big, they're just little ones. So up. And holding that uh, rotation, sit spans planted equally, perhaps getting a stretch in the backs of your legs. And then come up to seated. And we'll change sides. Left arm goes up. Right hand grasps the opposite tube. And your arm is up. Adding some little bends and straightens if that feels good to you. Think of elongating. You're breathing, getting two very different stretches on either side of your spine. Breathe here as you exhale, come up to seated. Let's realign, drape the legs over the sides and move back a little. Drop it down and then elongate the spine. So it's like um, sort of that down face dog position. And think about opening the inner thighs one more time here, breathing. If your forehead is down, that's great. If not, it's near the floor or the mat. And you're breathing. Nice. Inhale, and as you exhale, scoop your belly. Come on up. And we'll finish out with one. Press the bar up toward the ceiling. Drop the chest forward, and you'll probably do a nice extension here in your lumbar. You're breathing. And then push it back to seated. Release the bar. Roll your shoulders and your neck around a little bit. And let's come to the back. Let's disconnect the top spring from your push through bar. And that makes it available to reconnect to your trapeze bar. While you're up, let's get the uh, handles handled. Uh, so you've got your trapeze bar connected. Yeah. Shoulders are down and back. You're uh, just pressing on the ends of it. Not, not really in a grip. And we've got a fairly athletic stance, meaning the feet are separated, like you're going to do a squat of some sort, which is about what we'll be doing in a moment. So you'll breathe in and as you exhale, press the arms straight down towards your lap. We've done this a couple of times now, uh, reoriented in a supine position. 
Feeling arm muscles work, press, arms stay straight. Couple of more. Last time like this. And as you press down, I want you to squat. Just a little one. Good. And then back up. We're trying to keep the spine perpendicular to the floor. Then squeeze your glutes to come up. And press. This takes a lot of ab work to keep your torso from tipping forward. We'll do that in a moment. Good. Straight down. And a couple more like this. Scoop tight. Squeeze your pectorals. All your arm muscles working. And press. And let's take it up. I want to revisit something we've done twice already. A row. So breathe in as you exhale. Press down. Move the bar up your chest. And then come up to seated. And press down. Up the chest. And to seated. We'll do one more like this. Up. Use your arms there. Reverse it. In toward the chest. Down as you squat. And then come back up. Use your glutes there. Stabilize with your inner thighs too. Your feet are really planted. One more like this. And up to the top. Take a little break. Now, um, breathe in and as you exhale, I want you to tip forward as you extend your arms out, okay? Soften your knees. Good, breathe in as you exhale, press straight down from here to the knees, and then float it up. So we're gonna hold this squat, and press, and up. Make sure your hands are wide. You've got a nice wide bar there to play with. So your uh, collarbones are wide, your shoulders, really working from the backs of your shoulders, and a lot of core here. Two more. And last time. Arms go up, come up to standing, and roll your shoulders around. At this time, let's see, your feet are just under the hips again, so we've narrowed the stance a bit. Breathe in, and as you exhale, dip your knees and row to your left like an oar. And then dip your knees and row to your right. And row to the left. We want to keep the spine perpendicular to the floor. Feeling your arm muscles, close your ribs. Dip, use your glutes to stand back up. And it's a more of a canoe paddle. <laughs> and shoulders fixed. And scoop tight. Close your ribs, the work will go there. The arms are gonna work anyway. And we'll do again. One more each way, scoop tight, squeeze the glutes to come up, and last time. Good, up to the top and roll your shoulders around. Release your neck a little bit. Let's turn. Your shoulders are fixed, arms are extended out. Let's take a lunge, left foot forward. And hold that diagonal from the back of your heel to the back of your head. And then press the arms straight down. Float the arms up with control. We're focusing a good bit now on uh, fixing the shoulders. You're of course working the muscles behind and between your shoulders. Also pecs are stabilizing. Your arms are in a fairly locked position. We'll do one more. And I want you to hold it at the top. Um, then take a step back and lunge with the other foot. Let's work a little tricep here. So you're in that perfect lunge. Your back foot's turned slightly out. And bend your elbows. You can see them in your peripheral vision. And then straighten them. Bend and straighten. If you find you need more or less tension, you scoot farther away for more or jump back toward the machine for less. So the elbows never move in space and they are pointed out in front of you, not to the sides. That's too easy. And press. And let's go again. Check your form. Couple more. Last time. Good, arms up, foot back, and take it back to uh, just rest for a moment. 
All right, let's do a little lat pull down variation. So um, I'm going into a lean and I'm going to pull down like this and up. So my arms don't have to be straight as I lift up. Pull down is going just at the back of my head and back up. So I'm always keeping tension on the bar and the springs. And pull down, widen the shoulders here. Scoop tight, two more. Last time. Good. Come back toward the end of the tower and let's change to your handles. I like that light pull down. Yeah, that's nice. We'll, we'll do something similar in a moment. Down, right. you know, your eye bolts on the vertical tubes. So I've got a nice uh, high trajectory here. Okay, shoulders down and back. We're going to go into a lean with the arms out. Widen and then hug a tree to the sides. If you need to adjust or reorient in any way, now's the time. And feel like your shoulders are down and back and very wide. You can feel this across your lats also, the upper edge of them. The elbows are making a soft bend so that when you pull in towards your chest, they're in a perfect circle and go for three. Two more, feel your pecs, feel your uh, shoulders fixed. Last time, hold. Now keep your uh, handles together, all right? They're gonna butt into each other. Pull in towards your sternum and press out. Pull in toward the sternum. Shoulders stay fixed and wide as you press out right at sternum height and press and develop this. It starts at the back of the shoulder, biceps, triceps, finally the elbows are straight, and then retrace it. So we're holding on to that lean, glutes are active. Now, if you feel confident, lift your heels and keep going. A few more like this, press. It's a little more tenuous here, a lot more to work. Two more, and last time. Good. Come back to perpendicular and move around just a little bit. You're in your core, Pilates V. Arms go out in front of you again. You're in that perfect lean. The arms go out toward the sides, pull in and arms go out in front. Like we're doing that nice breast stroke uh, in the water. And exhale, scoop tight and feel arm muscles and chest muscles stabilizing and working. Your shoulders stay at a stable height. That's what it feels like. If you need to uh, have a little more support or less, please adjust. Feel across your lats working. A couple of more this way. Last time. Let's reverse it. Pull in, they go wide and then together out in front of you. Pull in, go wide, and out in front. It's like we're tracing two circles parallel to the floor with each arm, and good. So your torso, your whole body is stable, shoulders down, and keep breathing. Couple of more. Last one. Good, and then come back up to perpendicular. Roll your shoulders around, shake your little head a little bit. Good. I'd like to do some real squats here with some bicep work. Shoulders are down and back. You've got an athletic stance and you've got a lot of uh, support here from the springs. When you breathe in and as you exhale, sit back. So your spine does not have to be perpendicular to the floor. It's in a hinge and then pull back up. It's as much about the biceps as your glutes here. And then slowly squeeze back up, control that with your arms and pull back. So your elbows are in towards your sides and good. Your spine is in neutral, but it's at a diagonal hinge and up. If you start feeling your knees, don't drop quite so low. And 
and back up you go. Let's go for three. Two more, scoop tight, shoulders wide. And last time. Good, come on up to standing. Release that. Would you happen to have those loops at the top? You're going to give it a grip. Put your feet against the, the toes against the bottom legs there and give it a hang and stretch the arm muscles out. And you can even do some little twitches, you know, kind of what the choreography is that helps you here. Good. Putting full torso weight to stretch the joints and the muscles in your arms here. So please stay attentive. Articulating up and lovely extension there. And we'll spend one more little while here. Stretching and breathing. And let's take it up. Good. Let's uh, release your loops and put this into your whole brain. So that's just a nice little variation on uh, some arm work, ab work, stretching, etc. General pleasant movement this morning. Uncross, lock this in. Look straight ahead of you, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it and move around just a little bit. Wiggle your fingers, they probably need it. <laughs> okay, there's your pause. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>